Hi! Good day! Let us learn about the evolution of atomic models. Aeronautical engineers use wind tunnels and scale models to stimulate and test the aerodynamic drag forces that will act on a proposed design. The scale model shown is a physical model. However, not all models are physical. In fact, several theoretical models of the atom have been developed over the past several hundred years. What is the current model of the atom? And how was it developed? Thus far, the atomic model presented has considered atoms as combinations of protons and neutrons, making up a nucleus that is surrounded by electrons. Although this model has worked very well, it has outlived its usefulness because it explains only a few simple properties of atoms. It does not explain, for example, why metals or compounds of metals give off characteristic colors when heated in a flame. A more sophisticated atomic model is needed. As it turns out, the chemical properties of atoms, ions, and molecules are related to the arrangement of the electrons within them. Therefore, in this video, models of atomic structure will be expanded with an emphasis on the electrons in atoms. For about 50 years past, the time of John Dalton, 1766 to 1844, the atom was considered a solid indivisible mass. Dalton's atomic theory was a great advance in explaining the nature of chemical reactions. However, the discovery of subatomic particles shattered every theory scientists had about indivisible atoms. Joseph John Thomson, 1856 to 1940, discovered the electrons. He realized that the accepted model of an indivisible atom did not take electrons into account. Thomson therefore proposed a revised model referred to as the plum pudding model. The plum pudding model had negatively charged electrons struck into a lump of positively charged material, similar to raisins stuck in dough. The plum pudding model explains some electrical properties of atoms. It said nothing, however, about the number of protons and electrons, the arrangement in the atom, or the ease with which atoms are stripped of electrons to form ions. Based on his discovery of the nucleus, Ernest Rutherford, 1871-1937, proposed the nuclear atom in which electrons surround a dense nucleus. He thought of the rest of the atom as empty space. Later experiments showed that the nuclei of the atom are composed of protons and neutrons. What kind of charge does the nucleus of every atom carry? As you know, oppositely charged particles attract each other. Thus one could argue that the negative electrons should be drawn into a positive nucleus causing the atom to collapse. However, this does not occur. In 1913, Niels Bohr, 1885-1962, a young Danish physicist and a student of Rutherford's, came up with a new atomic model. He proposed that electrons are arranged in concentric circular paths or orbits around the nucleus. This model, patterned after the motion of the planets around the sun, is often referred to as the planetary model. Bohr answered in a novel way the question of what prevents electrons from falling into the nucleus. He proposed that the electrons in a particular path have a fixed energy. The electrons do not lose energy and cannot fall into the nucleus. The energy level of an electron is the region around the nucleus where the electron is likely to be moving. The fixed energy levels of electrons are analogous to the rungs of a ladder. The lowest rung of the ladder corresponds to the lowest energy level. A person can climb up or down a ladder by going from rung to rung. Similarly, an electron can jump from one energy level to another. A person on a ladder cannot stand between the rungs. Similarly, 
the electrons in an atom cannot exist between energy levels. To move from one rung to another, a person climbing a ladder must move just the right distance. To move from one energy level to another, an electron must gain or lose just the right amount of energy. A quantum of energy is the amount of energy required to move an electron from its present energy level to the next higher one. The energies of electrons are said to be quantized. The term quantum leap used to describe an abrupt change comes from this concept. In general, the higher an electron is on the energy level, the farther it is from the nucleus. The amount of energy gain or loss by an electron is not always the same. Unlike the ranks of a ladder, the energy levels in an atom are not equally spaced. In fact, the energy levels become more closely spaced the farther they are from the nucleus. Instead of a ladder, you might prefer to think of the spacing of energy level in terms of garden steps like those illustrated in this figure. The steps become closer together as you climb higher. This makes it easier to step off at the top. Similarly, the higher the energy level occupied by an electron, the easier the electron escapes from the atom. If this is your first time watching my videos, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.